They're the kind of headlines that chill the blood of any politician, but for New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, the stakes are even higher. He's facing a blockbuster scandal involving massive traffic jams that allegedly were deliberately created as part of a political vendetta against the mayor of Fort Lee, New Jersey. And CNN has just learned from a law enforcement source that the FBI is now assisting the U.S. Attorney's Office in New Jersey to see if any federal laws were broken. Christie confronted the crisis head-on in a lengthy news conference. I come out here today to apologize to the people of New Jersey. Uh, I apologize to the people of Fort Lee, and I apologize to the members of the state legislature. Uh, I am embarrassed and humiliated by the conduct of some of the people on my team. The uproar certainly could have huge implications for Christie. Uh, had been a rising Republican star, even a possible 2016 presidential candidate. Christie just met with the mayor of Fort Lee, New Jersey, and the mayor will be joining us live for his first interview since speaking with the governor. There he is. He's standing by. But uh, first, I want to go to our chief national correspondent, John King, in Trenton, New Jersey. So what's the latest you're picking up there, John? John, the governor's, Wolf, excuse me, the governor's office is happy with that meeting with the Fort Lee mayor, and I know you're going to speak to him shortly. Part of the apology day, if you will, Governor Christie traveling to Fort Lee after a one-hour, 48-minute press conference in which he apologized several times, said he felt betrayed, humiliated, he was sad, and he said he had nothing to do with this, did not authorize it, knew nothing about it. He also, Wolf, tried to address the critics who say that his political minions carried out this vendetta because of who Chris Christie is and how he governs. Governor Christie says... That's not me. I am who I am, but I am not a bully. And what I will tell you is that the folks who have worked with me over a long period of time would, I believe, tell you that I'm tough. But I've shown over the last four years in the tone that we've set here that I'm willing to compromise, that I'm willing to work with others. John, uh, does the uh, governor now, does the governor mean uh, that he he doesn't really need to change the way he operates when he says he didn't do anything personally wrong? And interesting, I asked him that there because one of two things happened: either a handful of his most trusted aides uh, were think think they did what the boss wanted them to do, thinks that's the culture of the office, or they just decided to go rogue and then try to cover something up, something that they knew, had to know, could undermine the governor's re-election campaign, could undermine his national ambition. So the governor says he is doing some soul-searching to find out how he hires people and why he trusted these guys. New Jersey for us, thank you. Uh, uh, joining us now for his first interview since meeting with Governor Christie, the mayor of Fort Lee, New Jersey, Mark Sokolich. Uh, mayor, thanks very much for coming back. Thank you, Wolf. All right, so you had a meeting with the uh, governor in your office over there, I assume, at City Hall. Take us inside yes. that room. Uh, walk us through how it went. Um, well, you know, we made it clear that we didn't want this to be a photo op. We wanted this to be a pure, uh, you know, if he was going to come up and apologize to just, you know, come on up um, and uh, say what it is that he had to say. And in fact, he did. Um, he came up. He was gracious. He was apologetic. Um, we believe sincere. Uh, but, you know, it's an ongoing investigation. And uh, we're just very... We're concerned that there's more stuff and, and more issues to deal with, but we are appreciative here in Fort Lee that the governor came up here to apologize. You believe him? I take him for his word, um, listening intently uh, to the press conference today. I mean, there was no in-between. There was no nothing but unequivocal statements that he had absolutely no knowledge um, he repeated those statements during the course of our interview. I, I, viewed it, I viewed it as productive. By no uncertain terms is it closure. By no uncertain terms is it the end of this issue, um, though it is the beginning of what we're hopeful is a trusting relationship in, uh, without fear of retribution in the future. And in that regard, that was number one on my list, which was, you know, how do you assure us here in Fort Lee that we don't suffer the fate of retribution in the future. He assured us that wouldn't happen. You've had a chance to observe him up close for four years now. Uh, was this, this kind of political vendetta, the revenge that we saw 
in September, an isolated incident, or in your recollection, in your memory over the past four years, were there other incidents along these lines that come to mind? Um, you know, in fairness, uh, in the world of politics, if you're good at, I guess, doling out vendettas, sometimes you don't even realize you're experiencing them, if you know what I mean. But I have no knowledge of... Um, I have no knowledge of any other retribution being um, aimed at the borough of Fort Lee. Uh, you know, and I, if you know me, you'll know that I pe keep uh, a pretty close tab on my community and what we do on a day-to-day -day basis, so I, I'm not aware of any. The uh, FBI has now been brought into this investigation on a federal level by the U.S. attorney in New Jersey. When, you're, when you hear that, and when you hear one of the uh, Port Authority officials who had been appointed uh, had were David Wallstein now refusing to testify, taking the fifth, pleading the Fifth Amendment before the state legislature. This seems to be escalating this this potential for criminal wrongdoing. Yeah, well, it certainly does. I mean, you don't you don't hear those initials, that being the FBI, unless it reaches a a level of uh, criminality. And um, sure, you know, look. You don't close the busiest bridge in the world without having any basis to do so. And, and quite frankly, your only basis is to dole out retribution. Um, it's not something that's acceptable, and, and I'm sure it breaks laws. What those specific laws are, I don't know, but not something you do. So we, uh, I, think the, I think everybody now recognizes the severity of it. Which brings me to the next point, if I may. You cannot imagine how grateful we in Fort Lee are to the folks that are doing what they need to do to determine the facts, the, um, the, assembly, the assembly subcommittee for transportation and their, you know, incredible work on determining precisely what transpired, who's responsible, and to make sure that this doesn't happen again. We in Fort Lee are eternally, eternally grateful. You believe, he, uh, as he says, he's not a bully? I don't, know, I don't know the governor well enough to be able to make a determination as to whether or not he's a bully or he's not a bully. And again, I'm, I'm not waffling here. I, 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 I see what I see. I see what you guys report. Um, tough is definitely a word. No nonsense is definitely a word. Um, I think bully is a category that you need to know him a little better to, quali to, uh, to be able to, you know, cast that description on the guy. Um, you know, look, if, if, if somehow, some way it's established that he was involved in this, yeah, bully would definitely fit. Right now, we find him to be conciliatory, apologetic, and uh, we take him for his word at this point. I'll be sure to let my community know that uh, we, my view of it was that there was a sincere apology. We accept him for his word. But like I said, those fact finders and those agencies will have to do their job as they have been doing. And uh, again, I can't say it enough. We are so very grateful. Your name came up at the news conference, and the governor spoke about you, professing he wouldn't even be able to pick you out of a lineup. I, I want you to listen to what he said. I never heard the Fort Lee mayor's name, Mark Sokolich, his name until all this stuff happened. And so he was not on my radar screen at all. Plenty of other mayors were. And a number of them wound up endorsing us, and a number of them I wound up having meetings with, like you're referencing. Mayor Sokolich, not only did I never have a meeting with him, he was never mentioned to me. That's why, you know, you go back to um, the question over here about, you know, making a joke about this. That's part of the reason I felt comfortable doing it. Like, this can't have anything to do with politics. I don't even know this guy. We did go to his website, though, the governor's website, and look what we found. We saw a picture of you. There you are, uh, right in the front there, and the governor, and not on your website, on his website website. Uh, he says he never heard of you or certainly was not interested in getting your endorsement. Uh, what did you make of that comment? Um, you know, I guess I don't have the impact on people that I thought I, I had, I guess. I, I, you know, I don't know. I can't, I can't. You'd have to ask him that question. I was also surprised when I heard that, uh, you know, he didn't know me or he couldn't pick me out of a lineup. In light of what's going on, I'm not so sure those are the best, uh, that's the best term to use. But um, I couldn't tell you. I, I don't know what his thought process was. Um, I will tell you this, though. The concluding remarks that I made to the governor in my office a little while ago were, Governor, am I now on your radar? And his response was something along the lines that Fortley now has its own screen. 
So, look, if there's a benefit that can be derived here from my community, I'm in it for Fort Lee, Wolf. I'm not going to grandstand here. I'm the mayor of Fort Lee. It's a place that I love. I need to protect it. I need to make sure our quality of lives are preserved. And uh, we're hopeful that we're now going in the right direction. And um, that's it. But we're getting our own screen, I'm told. I guess that's a good thing. Yeah, he obviously he obviously knows who you are. He's, he said that when he saw you on TV yesterday, presumably here uh, on CNN, uh, he finally saw who you were. But I was surprised by that because Fort Lee is an important city uh, in New Jersey. It's uh, it's the gateway for a lot of people who come from New York over that yeah. George Washington Bridge. They go to Fort yep. Lee, and, and it was pretty surprising to me to hear he didn't even know who the mayor of Fort Lee was. Mm. Yeah, we think, uh, you know, we think we're pretty important also. You know, we're the gateway community to the state of New Jersey. We're in the middle of a billion-dollar redevelopment. You know, when I expressed that to the governor, too, we are in a very, very vulnerable state here. We're in the middle of this billion-dollar redevelopment. We're in the middle of special, uh, special improvement development projects, redevelopment projects. And we are on the, we're in the middle of a renaissance that we've never, ever seen before. Fort Lee is once again regaining its status as the place to be. And um, right now, we don't need this. And we certainly don't need it with threat of future retribution. We've opened more businesses here in the last three months than in any three-year period. Folks are coming back. The culture has changed. The confidence level is at its highest. We need to make sure that it stays there. You know, what's happened is something that happened and transpired over many, many months. It's not going to be cured during the course of one day. But if you have to take a step, I believe that this was the step that that uh, the step to take. So uh, we're hopeful we're in the right. We're going in the right direction. And as I said, we take him for his word. Obviously, you didn't know the mayor, that, were, the, the governor that well, mayor. But what about these aides? Bridget Ann Kelly is deputy chief of staff who was fired today uh, or yesterday. Bill Stepien, uh, the campaign manager, former campaign manager. David Wildstein, uh, the Port Authority representative. Did you know any of them? Did you have any dealings with them? Did you have any reason to believe they would seek some sort of political vendetta against you because you as a Democrat didn't endorse the Republican candidate for re-election? Well, I was apparently on their radar screen. You know, we now know that. Um, you know, uh, as far as Bill's concerned, we definitely developed a personal relationship. Uh, I wouldn't say it was a good friendship, but it was definitely somebody that I can call and I spoke to on a, on a pretty regular basis. Um, he was our go-to guy. Wildstein, uh, I met once. Um, that was it. And Bridget Kelly, I don't ever, ever really ever recalling. Um, the guy that called me an idiot, uh, him I never met. Uh, I'd love to now, though. And... Um, that's really it. The only relationship I had out of these four was with Baroni. All right, uh, Mayor, you got your hands full over there. I appreciate what you're doing. Appreciate your yep. joining us. Uh, I'm sure we will continue this conversation. I assume, like me, you believe this story is not going away, right? I don't. I don't. Thanks so much. I don't. Not to suggest. Uh, thank you. Oh, go ahead. Make your final point. No, just uh, not to suggest that anybody knew or didn't know. It's just I think there's many chapters not yet told. Thanks so much, uh, Mayor Mark uh, Sokolich uh, of Fort Lee, New Jersey. We're going to have much more ahead uh, on the breaking news we're following. When did the governor first learn about the major scandal? We're going to talk about that a whole lot more. Stay with us.